Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, modify your import export uh, uh, options so you can have uh, different results uh, in those cases. Uh, let's let's look at this uh, sample one. Uh, I imported this as uh, an OBJ file with normal. So the file OBJ file contained normal, so everything looks great and smooth. But uh, basically, if you have no normals, you're going to have uh, a model like this when you import it from uh, OBJ. Uh, but you can have a, a default uh, normal uh, applied to your mesh while you're doing the import. So you can go to the edit in preferences. You have export and import. So when you're importing, based on the format, you can have the options here. For example, you can say uh, each object uh, should uh, be a separate node or uh, if you click on none, it means uh, entire objects in, in the OBJ file is going to be imported as one single node, which, which is going to be very fast uh, to import into uh, the browser. So then you have generate normals if uh, it doesn't exist in your OBJ file. So what you can do by default, it's auto smooth and 30 angle. Let's, let me click, uh, show you how does it look like. This is how does it look like if you import it by default. You see the uh, harsh uh, edges, hard edges here around the ears. You don't have uh, a correct uh, result. Uh, for example, uh, you can go to the preferences and says so my import. Uh, I'm going to choose auto smooth. I'm going to say uh, let's make it 90. So we, we know that everything is going to be smooth or even more 120. And I'm going to uh, click on done. So now. Uh, I'm going to go here, I'm going to import my uh, OBJ file, which contains no normals. So by default, it detects that uh, I have to apply uh, those normals to the mesh. Once it's uh, imported, you're going to see that here. So I imported this one. And if you go inside, you see the ears are working correctly. Uh, they're, they're smooth correctly. and you're not going to see this this result anymore. And similarly, if you're going to export to FBX, for example, you have options. You can make it as an ASCII format. If you have a binary, then you can have your textures embedded into one file. But the size of file is going to increase. But you can have it ASCII and deselect this. And also, you can choose the version. For example, Blender doesn't let you uh, import anything more than uh, less than uh, 7.1. So you can export to this, but old applications support this one. So you can export your format to 2006. Uh, six, and uh, for the past couple of 10 years, you, you can uh, have all your uh, uh, file formats uh, supported in all applications. And the other options, as you can see. Uh, that's for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.